Hi guys, Rick Damon here with Cowtown USA. Here with a brand new 2018, <coughs> excuse me, three horse slant uh, Murhau all aluminum trailer, uh, 13 foot short wall, slide out. I mean, this is this is a nice outfit. I'm just going to take you inside to begin with, and well, I'll talk about the outside just a little bit. It's got your um, your armor plating, your 14 ply radial tires, aluminum wheels nitrous filled tires that are telling me that they will uh, last 30% uh, longer because of the nitrous. Um, they have a, f your first year is a re uh, full replacement warranty on the tires. I mean, for any reason, you lock up the brakes and burn them off, you run over something, they're completely, for your first year, 100% covered. Dexter axles. What's the big deal about buying trailers with Dexter axles? Uh, Dexter axles, I'm not going to say it's better than anybody else, but I'm sure not going to say anybody's better than they are. But the neat thing about Dexter is if you're any place in the nation, they have 350 distributors, not counting dealers, even even down to um, all places like um, O'Reilly's are going to carry parts. So if you happen to get out and get in a storm, you can get out. That's the deal about Dexter axles. Power awning, fold out step. When it comes time to winterize your uh, your camper, you have a low drain point, so it's simple to do. Set out here, you plug up a box fan on the outside. You can carry your water as well as hook up to a water hose. Look how big the door entrance way here, as far as the, I mean a glove will fit in here, and a fold out step. Got your screen door. Okay, notice this all soft touch. I'm going to show you the real color of this interior. This is what's on your walls. So, mud, water, just wipe it off, and that's the advantage. Okay, and I'm going to take you in here. You're going to notice the first thing when you walk in on the left hand side is a set of bar chairs, not just stools. Okay. Take you in here, and I'm just going to back up to where, kind of look around, and see it all. Okay, show you the bed up over the neck. You got a real nice uh, closet to your left. Swing around to flat screen TV, storage, and a fireplace. Now, a lot of people, when I first started doing these fireplaces, said, oh, you know, that's too much. But I can tell you, when you pull in and plug up, and they charge you 30 or 50, whatever they charge you, you can shut your propane furnace off and heat your camper with your fireplace. So that works out real well. Okay, you can come right here and show you the rub rail. This is not just a piece of little trim, but a nice rub rail. Soft touch above it. Nice set of steps. Okay, storage above the bed, and then over here you got a 110 plug-in. Need to use that. And again, you can see the the top rail or your uh, your trim. Let's see if we can get this quit turning dark on me. Okay, you can see how your valances are all solid hardwood. Okay, I'll spin you around here to the slide. Okay. Is the material is what they call a distressed and then up on the back of this I call it ostrich so that it really really lends itself well to each other you can see here that's all set it's not just a wrap balance but it's all set with a matching ostrich behind it you got storage all across through, through here you can see and then come down here to the floor nice big drawers see this and I'll bring you over here and show you all the furniture is dovetailed you can see here it's not steeple all your rollers that's how slick that works and lots and lots of storage this also makes it into a bed okay come around here and show you the mirror solid hardwood there's no vinyl wrap in this trailer at all and again it's set in the ostrich just like the your slide across the top and down the down both post I'm back up here where you can see this so be no uh, mix up in this soft shades okay I'll spin you around here so we can see the really nice high gloss 
uh, countertops, dual stainless steel sink. More storage above. You see here as well. You have a tweed, a tweed type ceiling. Okay, you've got a really nice convection microwave down low so you can actually read it or use it. We take the place of your gas oven, recess the uh, cooktop, storage under there, drawers on this side. Okay, you got a pantry. All these are adjustable and again, all solid wood. You see in here, the back side of the door. Look at that. Well, more storage here. Okay, now, go back up here. You see have more storage above the, the big fridge. This is 6-0. And again, all solid wood. There is no vinyl. If you want a hickory sticker, maple sticker, walnut sticker, no. This is the real, genuine article. Big freezer here on top. Fridge on the back, on the bottom. You can see, let me try not to go so fast. Okay. Uh, that's gas and electric. And again, get the soft touch wood. And notice there's no swinging door here. That's called a pocket door. So you don't have to step back out of anybody's way. And again, the real nice chair rail. Let me bring this out to you too. They even ran the chair rail and the soft touch out on the slide out. Just the fit and finish. Runs all the way across through there and comes right on around to you slide out. I mean, the quality of the trailer is, is well on the interior, and the exterior of the trailer is second to none, neither. Uh, and I'll take you and show that to you. This trailer company is 64 years old this year. There's another storage spot I didn't miss showing you, and I'll probably miss showing you some other things, but I'm doing my best. Got a real nice radius shower in this, frosted over. Okay, a nice vanity with a mirror there and storage here. More closet here. Let's see what's in here. Good deep hanging closet. Okay, fantastic fan above her head, you can see. You can actually set the temperature on this. Open up your side doors and it operates like an attic fan to cool your, your camper off. Okay, I'm gonna walk into the horse compartment while I'm here. You got a dead bolt right here. So you want to use this like a back door inside and out your house, you can. Seven, six tall, fully insulated, two-way roof fence. So you can pull air in or, or however you want to do that. All LED lighting. Look at the massive si size of the butt windows in this as well. And you know, you're fully padded. You know, you're, I turn it here, your pads on the door, pads up here. All your dividers are fully padded. And look at the size of the bars. I mean, I mean these, are, these are huge. It's all quality. Got a round shoulder on your dividers, which very, you know, this, as far as I know, this is the only company out there. I started to say you don't see this very often, but as far as I know, Murhouse is the only trailer company out here that does that. All slam latched. It claps a rear tack. The dividers will come completely out of it if you want to take it out. All UTVs, ATVs. Okay, I'm going to walk you back into the living quarters. Weight of this trailer says. 10,020 pounds. That's what it says. Okay, give you a good, give you some more look around here as we go back through here. I mean, most trailers this size, you don't get that big radius shower in it. That's a good big shower. Step back here and see a little more of it. Plus a vanity, you don't see that. Okay. Show you again as we go through here. Show you the texture of the floor. Floor is very, very nice. Give you a view here. Try
trying to show you everything I can about it so there's no no mistakes okay again the fireplace and again I guess this crown molding is just look the size of it it's the fit and finish in the trailer all solid wood there is no vinyl wrap and you know then these trailers are not priced crazy and you think well how can they build a trailer this good and it not be priced staggering amounts you know when you start comparing them to like a bloomer or to a four star or uh, some of the uh, the other known brands like Murhau. The advantage that Murhau has over all these other manufacturers and still give you quality is they do it all in house. You know, with the other brands, you, they don't do in t interiors, you know. So you have to pay somebody. They make their money on building the trailer, then they make their money on somebody else got to make their money on the interiors of them. This company does it all. And if there's a problem, and I'd love to tell you I've never had a problem, but if there's a problem, it's Murhouse problem. They take care of it. It's not something, well, and I've been stuck in it. Well, the manufacturer of the trailer, it's not our fault. The manufacturer of the interior is not our fault. With Murhow, if there's a problem, it's their problem. Uh, Anyway, I'm going to take you outside and kind of show you a little bit more about the trailer. I can take you up here underneath the neck. Not one jack, but two. Not uh, two electric jacks, but two hydraulic jacks. Aluminum box that you can actually lock your batteries up in. Dual propane. You can haul your water. There's an outside uh, water spigot. Okay, I'm going to take you back up here. I'm going to talk about this neck. I want you to look at the steel in this neck. There are lots of steel in, in these necks on these trailers, and that's what you want to see. I mean, that's that's if you're in an accident or something, you want all this this steel in this neck, even though it's classed all aluminum, you want all the steel in this neck that you could possibly get. Okay. Notice you have a window in the end of the slide out and how deep this slide out is. Automatic awning, big window here. Backside of your hot water heater, backside of uh, out of your fridge, TV, landline, city water connection. Look how thick the hinges are on this, guys. Drop down door, feed door, drop downs all the way through. Let's see if we can get the mangers open for you. Mold resistance on all the walls inside the mangers. you look how thick the doors are I mean that's something that they're gonna take a licking and keep on ticking face bars that come down okay we've talked about the advantage of Dexter easy lubes and never adjust the brakes on this trailer you can you can actually pack the wheel bearings and not take the trailer apart as well all mold resistant on, the, on your rear door Tail lights low, tail lights high. Advantage of that, you got two or three cars behind you in this trailer, and you got a semi behind them. He can't see these low set of tail lights if you're braking or turning. But with this upper set of tail lights, he's he's able to see that you are braking, you are turning, and that'll keep him out of the back of your trailer, fully insulated, fully lined. That's going to drop the interior of this trailer as far as heat probably at least 30 degrees your horses or trance will will uh, haul would be a simple word to say uh, a lot more comfortable you drop those down slide those massive windows open you're going to get some ventilation get aluminum floor aluminum frame and you can see the thickness of this rear tail of this rear tail board and the nice rubber bumper that goes back around it there again is that massive fin massive massive hinges I, I probably didn't mention but power awning as well you just push your button on it works the same as the as the uh, oh, as the slide now I'm gonna take you down here and show you the belly of this trailer too up oh, come right down underneath the, the tanks but you can see how massive the eye beams are and then one inch braces one inch apart underneath this 
kind of see right here. I mean, a lot of these turns have no braces running lengthways, and this has got a tremendous amount of braces running lengthways. All right, I'm gonna get it off here and let you go. This is Rick at Cowtown, USA, Cuba, Missouri. Rick at Cowtown, USA, Cuba, Missouri. 573-885-6300. 573-885-6300. We got this one and we got several others, smaller and larger. But this is the only one we got like this. 573-885-6300. Thank you.